Whoa, hold, 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 hold on. I have discovered something. The real plans behind that poppy. And this is more than just an entertainment video. I was just, you know, out there on the internet and you guys were sending me comments and sometimes when people send stuff, you unearth some crazy things. And at f I had to double check this and then I found out the rabbit hole. Boy, does it go pretty deep. Put those seat belts on. I'm gonna take you on a journey. Damn advertisements. Do you remember this scene right here? You see how her fingers are where she's doing the whole this thing top top deal? Well, somebody sent me a picture and said this is the the sign that a demon makes. And I was like, <laughs> at first I brushed it off, wasn't a big deal. I get some pretty crazy claims throughout my day. I decided, well the heck with it, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll give it a look at. Gotta go to Google, Google's the way to go. Right off the bat, I'm gonna show you some images. Now tell me, I wanna know, does this look familiar? You bet your sweet ass it looks familiar. Those are the same signs that Poppy's making. But who is this figure? What what is what does this demon's presence have anything to do with that poppy? Well, let me show you who this is. I'm gonna butcher this. Bat bat foment, right? Is a term originally used to describe an idol or other deity that the Knights Templar were used of worshiping and that subsequently was incorporated into disparate occult and mythical traditions. That's weird. That's crazy but it gets even deeper. It says the image of Bapomet has graced everything from heavy metal albums to religious propaganda and tends to be used as a symbol of evil. Yet Bapomet is a far, far more complex symbol. You can see right off the bat that it's got the words solve, kogi, it means to take something and to break it down. Literally, it's an alchemic symbol. Now. We have been under the impression that a lot of this had to do with Illuminati. But man, maybe it does. But maybe it's not exactly what we thought. This is a little crazy. Do you remember how everybody thought that that Poppy and Titanic Sinclair's idea, and even the Mars Argo idea, was to make fun of pop culture? Well, this here says that recognizable occult images in the world with strong ties to artistic and popular culture but it literally says you're put it takes one person and which is crazy because both in mars argo and that poppy the person is taken and then they are seemingly broken down and turned into something new and that's what those words represent on the deity's right arm is the word salve while to his left arm is the word cogula together these words form the phrase salve cogula or solve et cogula. The phrase means solution and cogulation and is a philosophy based on medieval alchemist practices. What is alchemy, Charlie? Well, alchemy was the belief that base metals could be changed to gold. It was really popular in the mid centuries. Charlie, pay attention in this symbolism that Poppy and Mars Argo and all, and all the Titanic Sinclair's ideas are pretty much based off of where they want to take people's enlightened beliefs and break them down and change them into a more enlightened path. They think the world will unite everyone in a new perspective. That would be everyone into agreement. In other words, he wanted to break down the Christian belief that Jesus was the only God or other divisive doctrines so that all mankind could unite to follow his God in in one world religion. That's kind of crazy. And it kind of seems like that's that I'm saying that uh, all you guys that are following behind all this stuff without, you know, proper education of it. There is even now the gospel of Poppy, the... Uh, the cult of poppy and when i ran into these things right here you cannot deny that these are wholesome truths and you best believe that i'll put a couple of these uh in the description below so you can read them but it's not even over yet it gets even crazier would you believe that that poppy has ties with the rothschild family 
Anyone who's been on the internet cannot avoid coming across dark warnings about the Illuminati, a conspiratorial organization that acts as a shadowy power behind the throne. And the Rothschilds have been laid in with this like a patchwork quilt since the dawn of time. Oh, I got a text. Oh, my pizza's on the way. Check this out. This is this is pictures of the Rothschild family wearing legitimate pendants of the, the goat-headed god literally in several different pictures and it's throughout their whole family history they go back a long ways guys did you know that the rothschild families own the money all the money in the freaking world except for maybe two countries north korea and the list used to be a lot bigger there was a time when iraq had nothing to do with the rothschilds but you know the rothschilds had to pay the united states to invade iraq set up 9-11 so they could go in and take control of iraq's money so there's literally two little countries that the rothschilds do not have anything to do with for the most part they own the entire world there's even talks about how everything that popular media and even we think right now has been created by the Rothschild families an organizational family that's been around since the dawn of time in 1972 the Rothschilds had a huge Illuminati party it was where only the top elite were invited they sent out invitations that could only be read if you looked at it in the mirror this was the house it was crazy there's a lot of things that was going on that looks just like a goat head it was diamond encrusted this is creepy as heck and why is Poppy emulating the goat head god that the prominent soul love to worship i have a theory now i'm not gonna go really deep into this because man it's something that I, you should do on your free time and it's very interesting and it's a little bit scary but look here's my theory the most prominent wealthiest people in the entire world they worship this deity it's like the illuminati maybe the, even the illuminati spawn out of this the knights of the templar and such like that but it looks like they they worship this god and then other huge like the rothschild families take notice of people that uh are doing things in the sake of this deity i'm thinking that possibly titanic sinclair is using his projects mars argo and that poppy to try to show the prominent and wealthy and leaders of the planet that he is doing what he can like here's what i have to offer and they say that those that make sacrifices that do things for the the deity are given gifts of uh eternal life and things like that things that me and you have no idea about and it looks like he's using that poppy project to emulate worship of the deity so basically you got titanic sinclair that poppy in this whole project that is i don't want to say tricking but pushing you towards uh just like it said to throw out your belief in a christian god break down what you are and try to rebuild you up basically they're saying you don't you can't make your own decisions they're not good enough throw out the way you feel and think and i'm going to build you up in my image and make you this way that's what i'm getting out of it but i would like to know what you think like i said i'm going to leave a couple of these interesting articles in the description below for you so why don't you leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for those likes and as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video